Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chris Krasnuski, and, uh, welcome to another exciting episode of How the Hell Did I Do That? with 3D Studio Max and Adobe After Effects. Um, today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at, um, creating volumetric light rays in Adobe After Effects using 3D Studio Max footage. Now, this might seem pretty difficult and very render time heavy, but there is a solution. There is a very easy solution to those render times. Of course, it might not always be the. Be, it might not always work, but it does most of the time. So, here's my uh, final composition, and here's what it's going to look like at the end. Forgive me if it seems a little sluggish. I'm running two different 3D Studio Max scenes right now. So let's have a look. Pretty. As you can see, the fighter passes by this nebula, and uh, we'll hold it right here for a second. As you can see, it's got this, uh, it's got these really nice uh, volumetric rays coming out of it. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Just as it passes the bright spot of the nebula. Now this was inspired by Mass Effect and uh, Mass Effect 2, so both are very good games. I recommend checking them out if you haven't already. But um, <clears throat> okay, that's what our final effect is going to look like. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, here we have our 3D Studio Max scene set up already. I set I set up everything and rendered everything out to uh, save some time. That's pretty much what our basic render is going to look like. Oh, and yeah, you can notice this little shaky camera I added, just to give it a bit of an effect, a bit of dramatic effect. Um, <clears throat> now, what you want to render out is you want to render out an alpha channel. Most, of, most if not all the time, you'll be using uh, Targa image files or image file sequences. Word to the wise, by the way. <clears throat> I know a lot of um, beginners or intermediate users render using uh, .mov or .avi. Don't. Trust me. Um, rendering out an image, in in image sequences will save you a lot of time if your 3D Studio Max scene crashes or something, or overloads, or memory leaks, or whatever. Um, Believe me, I've had some pretty bad experiences run rendering out with uh, AVI and MOV formats. So, yeah, save as a Targa image files or JPEG image files or something like that. So, <clears throat> okay. Um, self illumination channel, I'll get into that when we get into uh, the compositing part of the tutorial. So, as you can see, that's pretty much all you need. To set up a render element, just go into your render setup, choose add, alpha, or self illumination, or refraction, or reflection, or paint, or object ID, or whatever. Um, to save some extra time, I also exported it out to uh, max to AE format. And uh, just select all your elements, export the scene, choose a file export blah 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 and um, selected nodes okay yeah I didn't export anything out just uh, I already have exported everything out pretty much so <clears throat> now the 3d studio max bit is done and yeah that yeah it, it is that simple folks let's go into Adobe After Effects now let's have a look at our project this is, uh, this, the untitled comp and the solids are both part of the MaxDAE data and file format. To import MaxDAE file format, just go to File, Scripts, BLI, Import, choose the BLI file, and it should translate pretty well, 90, 99 times out of 100. So, <laughs> then you also have to uh, import your footage. See here's the uh, <clears throat> here's the main footage. If 
the alpha channel as you can see here's the transparency that's why we need the alpha channel though and the sub illumination pass now like I said I, I will I will get into that a little bit later in the compositing part of the tutorial so here's our setup um, first off we want to open up our comp which you can just double click I already had this open so and drag your preliminary footage down first then drag your alpha channel down next and set your preliminary footage see this track mat option set it to luma inverted mat and next up what you want to do is um oops yeah as you can see there's no effects applied here but um that changes in the alpha channel which is rendered out as targas by the way <clears throat> so That's pretty. So, to achieve this effect, it's very, very simple. Um, just select a CC radial fast blur, maximum amount, and uh, set its zoom to the brightest. And to set the cent to, se bleh, bleh, to set the center, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I took the uh, light, exported out in the uh, BLI data the uh, max AE data linked a null object to it in uh, After Effects of course setting it to uh, 3D which is this little toggle right here and just parent the uh, center to the null which is very simple to do uh, and um, <clears throat> can do this with this expression this comp layer or no one two comp no dot anchor point or whatever I don't know I can't read that <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'll I'll put I'll put it I'll put the uh, description the uh, expression in the link it's a it basically allows you to track 2d layers to 3d objects it's a, that's a very handy expression I've used it quite a few times so I'll put that in the uh, I'll put the source for that in the uh, description for you. Then you can just pick with that to the uh, null object. And as you can see, I've also added a bit of a curves adjustment to uh, help the uh, <clears throat> volumetric stand out a little bit more. So. And that's all there is to it. That simple? Yeah. Oh, set all these layers to add, by the way. <clears throat> and, um, this third layer is just so. Look, turn it off. There's no nebula there, so it's pretty much to help cover that up. So, now for the self illumination channel, just hit 15 and just add, and just apply a Gaussian blur and then set the boringness to 15. It's basically just to, uh, get the uh, glows on the ships to look super pretty as you can see the uh, warp grills and the uh, boost art collectors on the, on the uh, fighter look pretty nice and that's a beautiful fighter too by the way um, <clears throat> the uh, fighter was done by a uh, wily coyote of bridge commander files and um, this nebula I found with a Google search so and there's our effect that's all there is to this effect it's very very simple and it's very time-saving too compared to um, rendering it out in a 3d application like max or cinema 4d so yeah that's pretty much it and um, if you have any questions comments or additional tips please leave them in the comment section below and um, I'll get back to you on those so alright that's pretty much it this is Chris Krasnowski with another episode of how the hell did I do that with 3d studio max and Adobe After Effects take care bye bye